Hi, I am Rohit, Field Application Engineer from Campus Component. Today I will show you how you can use ESP32 module with Rainmaker app and how you can communicate with Rainmaker app and switch on off your LEDs, fan, lights, etc. And also I am going to show you how you can update OTA firmware in your ESP module. Here I am going to use ESP32 module and that is ESP32 Vroom 32E module. So let's get into my laptop screen. So first of all I am going to download a code to my ESP that can switch on off a fan or light by Rainmaker app. First of all I am opening the code. I am using simply Arduino app and that is the code. See that is the Bluetooth credentials and there I am defining the GPIO pins and that is the OTA credentials I will discuss later and see here here I am defining boot pin from for 3 seconds and 10 seconds if I am going to click it for 3 seconds or more below 10 seconds that will restart my Wi-Fi and if I am going to click it for 10 seconds or more that will be factory data reset so I am going to upload this code first of all you have to check the ports so I am selecting here ESP development board upload speed that and 240 megahertz that is default and I am selecting here 4MB flash size and select here Rainmaker and I am selecting here COM port 17 and ESP USB bridge and also programmer is ESP tool now upload that that will take some time See, now that is connecting to the COM port. Upload it started now. So now, the code uploading is done. I am going to minimize it. Now I am going to see the serial port. So I am using putty here. Serial port and that is serial port 17 and the speed is 115200 open it and restart it one time by clicking the restart button of the ESP module and I prefer to restore factory setting this module once and also while restart the Wi-Fi once by clicking 3 seconds and 10 seconds the boot pin. So, reset to the factory is started. Done. So now, you just have to download ESP Rainmaker app from Play Store. I have already downloaded open that click here proceed and then log in your account or make an account then click on add device and just scan the QR code If network not detected, just click on join other network and fill up your credentials.
so that is started to acquire the credentials the so switch is added and now device added successfully that is done now see in my serial port i am going to off the switch and then see false value here so that means the power off and click here then see the value is true means power on so now i am going to show you how that works physically so if i am going to click the switch off see the indicator is off and click the switch on see the indicator is on in my development board so that is working so now i am going to show you the next part i am going to show you how you can update your esp firmware by over the air process first open the firmware and for the next version i am going to update something credentials i am going to update the bluetooth name i am going to update the password and also i am going to change the switch name here is it like do not upload the code i am going to upload it over the air just compile it but before the compilation I am going to save as it by this type of name. I am going to name it LED, and then write the firmware version here. I am going to write the firmware version 3.0. Save it, then compile it. So our compilation is done now. now you can find that type of file after compilation just extract it if any problem in extracting the file just copy that and paste in other location i am going to paste it here and extract it you can find this type of bin file that is important open google chrome and open esp dashboard means esp rain meter or make ESP Rainmaker dashboard. You just log in the same account. After login, you can find your node. Just open it in your phone also. Go to About section and you can find your node ID, and the node ID is same. Then just open Farmer Images. then add your firmware name it like the same i name it led 3.0 i am going to name it same here specify the firmware version select the image
एट द इमेज सो इमेज एडेड क्लिक ओके सो दैट इज माई एल डी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट ओ टी ए एंड देन नेम योर ओ टी ए जॉब आई एम गोइंग टू नेम इट एल ई डी एंड आई हैव नो ग्रुप आई हैव ऑल्सो ए नोड सो आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट माई नोड हेयर दैट इज माई नोड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू फोर्सली अपडेट इट I do not want to notify my customer. So force push and just click on start OTA. And OTA started. Open OTA jobs. And then see that that LED row is named OTA job. Refresh it. time to time and see that is active see here the completed count nothing that means that not completed the ota wait for some time and then refresh it again now see that is completed So now OTA is completed. Now see in my phone screen. See here. So, see, my name is changed. Here the name is changed to Light. So OTA is done. Yes, the OTA is working.